So we've just loaded uh, the 10 rhinos. It's gone really well. They are all in the boxes now. We're really happy, but we now have a 16, 1700 kilometer journey ahead of us. In our first episode, How to Capture a Crash, we offered an inside look at the process guiding us towards our next phase of the translocation. On this leg of the journey, the team drives non-stop from South Africa to Mozambique, tasked with safely relocating the rhinos to their new home in Zanav National Park. We've just done one of the most epic rhino translocations in history and um, yeah, incredible moment for us. If you can tap now into some bit of hindsight, what this has proven, it is, <laughs> we never knew we had the ability to execute a project of this magnitude to start with. So it has unlocked um, capacity that we never knew we had within ourselves. Uh, as far as this project was concerned, uh, we make all the plans in the world, but uh, they don't come to fruition necessarily. Things change as you go along. The main threat to these rare and endangered animals is poaching, driven by a high demand for rhino horn in illegal markets. The future of rhino is constantly and severely threatened by this illegal trade, driven by greed and high demand due to the rarity of the horn. That's why our team has implemented additional protective measures. A dedicated security team accompanies our translocation experts while en route. The longer they stay in one place, the higher the risk of potential conflicts and attacks. Any unforeseen events on the road are dealt with promptly and efficiently to ensure the team can resume their journey as quickly as possible. This was noticeable when one of the trucks had a flat tire, but our prepared and focused team wasted no time in enabling them to swiftly resume their journey. As a leader, I have to lead by, the, by an example. So I was always uh, punctual, I was always there uh, on time actually, just to show them that guys, we can do this together. And today we brought 10 rhino from Mankiti Lodge, uh, five white, five black. Um, yeah, very exciting stuff. Getting to work with black rhino for the very different from white rhino. A lot of it across unpaved roads and it's all about time. So all these translocations have taken roughly about 48 hours. It was previously thought not possible to move rhinos this distance. We've innovated, we've designed some new uh, systems to be able to feed and water rhinos en route. And also we've uh, done a halfway house system where we let the rhinos rest for the period of three days and then move them on to their new destination. So these learnings have been incredible. There's been a lot that has come out of it for us, also for Peace Parks. And I think the most important thing to know is that we can do this at scale. To ensure the well-being of the rhino, scheduled stops are made to provide food and care. The crates were specially designed with compartments specific to feeding and providing water for rhino, making it convenient and efficient to provide them with the necessary nourishment. We did manage to get them to, to eat and drink in the crates, which was absolutely exceptional. You know, this was a, a move where a whole population had to be relocated in its entirety. So we couldn't say, listen, this one's too old, this one's too young. The, the sex composition, we had to take everything. I've been involved with uh, many, many of these uh, relocations. Always go back to the old days. We didn't have these tranquilizers available. You didn't, wouldn't dream of doing this. We used to, for example, uh, a black rhino, like you saw today, how relaxed they were. We'd have them in Burmas for three, four, five, six months, eating out of your hand before you could even dream of putting them in a box. Yesterday or day before yesterday, we darted them from the helicopter, a completely wild animal, and put it in the box and brought it here. Modern medicine has really been a, an absolute winner. So we're incredibly proud to be associated with the Peace Parks Foundation, also ANIC, Mozambican government, and then of course Exaro. It's been a huge project for us. There's been lots of learnings and we're absolutely ecstatic. Given the severity of threats, the Mozambique government has been actively involved in combating any potential dangers, with police officials escorting our team through their beautiful country to ensure a safe passage. Stay tuned to witness the heartwarming release of these precious rhino in Zanav National Park after their historic road journey from South Africa to Mozambique.